guys, it is the 1st of January 2024 and I'm back. I'm back to do some vlogging for you. You've been asking for it and I'm here. I'm in my bed because I'm very hungover from New Year's Eve. We have a party here every year with my friends and last night was a Mexican theme and we had lots and lots of alcohol, lots and lots of food. I'm back to reset. Last year I did a step three vlog, a step four vlog and a step five vlog and I did a month on each and I'm probably going to do the same again this year if I'm honest. One, I really enjoy it. I like to go back on plan for a bit of a reset because I want to be, like, be able to fully enjoy Christmas and New Year. I always do. I do always overindulge and I enjoy every second of it. I have weighed myself this morning and I'm 10 pounds up from when I weighed two months ago. So it's not great, but a lot of it will go quite quickly in the first week. I know it will when I start drinking my three to four litres of water again. I've got my vanilla latte shake and I'm gonna do step three and I'm gonna vlog it and show you. So this is my first week in January, 2024 on step three. So if you wanna see what I eat and how much I lose, then keep watching. Oh, that's a good backdrop, isn't it? The bar from last night. <laughs> a lot of empty bottles that probably need putting out. Oh God, honestly, I'm struggling today. I am suffering a little bit and I look dreadful, which makes me feel rubbish, but I'm doing it. I had that prawn cocktail wrap for lunch, which was lovely. I've tracked it all on my fitness pal. I'm doing it, guys, I'm doing it. People think step three is easy, it's not. It really isn't because you have to track, you have to prepare, you have to calorie count. You have to eat food and if you're struggling to control your food that's actually quite hard for a lot of people to not keep eating if you know what i mean like once you start it's very hard people find it hard when they open open the floodgates um whereas i prefer actually having food because i don't feel like i'm at the point in my journey where i need to take food out of the equation a lot of my slimmers do a lot of my slimmers need step one and they just have the products to help them to eliminate that food and just kind of really reset so yeah i shall see you soon Right, I've literally been on my phone all day answering new inquiries, clients. Oh God, I've been dreadful. And I'm absolutely ravenous. So I'm going to have two scrambled eggs with a dash of skim milk. I've already put it into my fitness pal and yeah, it's perfect for my step three calories. And then I'm gonna have a bar and an early night. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter. Right, low fat spread in a frying pan. And then I've got my two eggs whisked with some salt and pepper, tiny bit of skim milk, and I'm gonna make some scrambled egg as a snack. Sorry, Finley's got um, like computer games on in the background. Right, as you know, I should be having three liters of water minimum really, but I think I'm just scraping two today. I've been so busy. Tomorrow will be better. I mean, today, doing this on a hangover, I'm pretty proud of myself, to be fair. I'm gonna make a cup of tea and have my product, and that will be my step three day done. Oh, and in my tea, I use these butter biscuit flavor drops, excuse me now, I'm get them done tomorrow, from my protein. They're just like a sweetener, carb-free, sugar-free, calorie-free. I put about three or four drops in, it just makes the tea taste really nice. I'm gonna have a fruit and nut bar to dunk in, because if you haven't tried your bar dunked into your tea, then you haven't lived. And I actually really miss these. Mm. It's delicious. Oh, that's nice though. Hmm, lovely. Very proud of myself. The kids have just had creamy, cheesy and bacon pasta. And I had a cup of tea. Yes. Right, I've tattled, tottled, whatever the word is, tottled up the calories for that lunch I had and it was a bit higher than I thought, annoyingly. Turkey mince isn't actually that low in calories. I should have had chicken. 
I am quite hungry now though, but I only have 100 calories left. And I have my, obviously my bar later, which I'll probably have quite soon if I'm honest, because I am hungry. So I'm just gonna quickly do some boiled eggs and just have one of them with a bit of salt and pepper on it. <laughs> Honestly, I need to plan. I need to plan better tomorrow. After I've had this egg, I'm gonna go and do some steps on my treadmill. So today I don't think I've done that many steps. I've only been at home, but I'm gonna try and get it up to 10,000. I've got like a walking pad out in my, it's like a garden office. It means when the weather's like this, very stormy today, lots of rain and wind, um, it means I can go and still get my steps in and keep dry and warm. <laughs> Mm. Right, here we are. This is my little walking pad. Just got my croc slippers on and I'm just gonna walk as many steps as I can. Excuse the state, I have just had a bath. Oh, why does it always do that blurry thing? Um, I've just had a bath and it was lovely. A bit of relaxation and now I've just made a cup of tea and I'm gonna dip my fruit and nut bar in it again and I'm gonna go and watch Natalie and Rachel go live on Instagram. They haven't done this for a long time and I'm well excited. So Nat and Rachel were two of my very early virtual clients when we went virtual with the business they were two of my sort of very first virtual slimmers and both went on to lose about i think they lost about 18 stone between them like they're insane they vlogged their whole journey they are now incredible consultants they are real they are honest they don't bullshit they're just really really good people and i'm really excited to watch it so much honestly i think if you can put you up with someone these you girls know, help so much in I just love them. I love them so much. I could watch them all day. I'm just so proud of them, like how far they've come, honestly. If you follow them, you'll understand what I mean, but I just... <sighs> just got back from the school run. It is day three, Wednesday, and I can have a bit of freedom without the children today, but I am working all day. It is very, very busy. But day three, going strong. I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna to have to film, but I will try and show you what I eat today. And I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Just before I start my calls. Of course, I've got my vanilla latte, as always. God, I look so tired. I feel tired. I feel very tired today. Oh. Back to reality, up at seven, when we've been getting up a lot later than seven. Um, and I just couldn't get to sleep. Like normally I go to sleep on a, you know, normal routine. Me and Jim are normally trying to go to sleep about 10ish, half 10. But last night it was like 11, half 11, I just couldn't get to sleep. My body clock's a bit messed up. But we'll get there, we'll get there. But yeah, day three, come on, we've got this. It's hard when you're, it's hard when you're tired. It's a trigger. I find tiredness for me and stress or like change of routine. If something happens like bad, like stressful, or if something happens to the kids or something changes, the first thought in my mind is still food. It always has been and it always will be, but I've learned over time to take myself out of that situation, distract myself for 10 minutes, give myself 10 minutes, and it does really help. Um, but we'll talk about that more another time. But yeah, day three, it's probably gonna be hard, but I'm here for it, I'm doing it. Quick gap between calls. I've literally got 20 minutes and I'm gonna have this ham bagel thin with loads of salad and a tiny bit of salad cream for my lunch. Honestly, the detox is real. Look, the spots always come out. They always come out. When you're drinking your water again and all that alcohol and cheese needs to come out. <laughs> right, I'm back from the school run and I'm really hungry. So I'm just, I've just found that there's some leftover chili. There's only a little bit left leftover chili that I made on New Year's Eve and I've got some white rice so I've just weighed out 100 grams of the rice and I'm gonna put it into my fitness pal and do the chili and that's gonna be my meal. I'm gonna have it early because I'm hungry and then I'll have a bar later. And here it is. It's not a huge portion but actually perfect for my meal. Quite looking forward to that. Oh, that was delicious and I'm just downing a pint. To fill myself up a bit more because once you eat a little bit, you want more, don't you? I almost thought if I make a cup of tea, I can have my bar. Then I thought, no, Gemma, it's quarter past four. So I'll save my bar. I do finish all of my stuff quite early though. I'm always more hungry in the day. I'm different to a lot of people. Most people save all their stuff for the evening. I like to have it throughout the day so I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I just like to have it all when I need it and then have an early night. I'll tell you what, that water trick's actually really good because if you drink a pint of water with your meal or your product, whatever you're having that day on plan, whether it's a, you know, an actual cooked meal or a meal replacement, have a pint of water afterwards and you're like doubly full. 
and you've drunk more water. Win win. Right, I've just taken Bethany to gymnastics and I've come home. I'm just feeling really tired today. Day three is hard. Um, and I've had a really busy day, so that's added to it, I think. I am making a cup of tea and I'm going to actually have peanut bar today. Something different, mix it up. I'm just using up old stock that I've got at my house, so I really want the new birthday cake bars. But I don't want to order anything else because I've got loads of these and fruit and nuts at home. So I'm just going to do these for as long as they last and then I will get some new products in. Mm. I love it. I forget how nice a peanut bar is. I do love it. Good morning, day four. I've had my cup of tea and just having my pint. I've got a headache today not feeling great and that spot's really not the best detox detox guys this is what was always going to happen but i know soon probably tomorrow i should feel a lot better so that'd be quite good because it's friday tomorrow and my day off calls i've got a full day today but tomorrow's my day off calls so i'm going to get my hair extensions like re like they're maintained basically they pull them back up to the roots because they grow out with your hair and then you get your hair cut so i'm having that done tomorrow what else am i doing oh i'm going to see liz actually so liz works at a clinic in romsey and in cheshire she does like she commutes between both but she's doing these skin boosters for me at the moment so my second round of skin boosters are tomorrow so i am going to do a separate vlog on that because lots of people are interested in stuff like that. But I mean, a lot of the improvements in my skin, you know, is to do with water and stuff. When I don't drink enough water or I don't look after myself, the skin always looks worse. It looks quite dull and spotty, obviously. And so I'm hoping soon it will start glowing. You'll probably notice the difference actually in my videos because I looked at last year's ones from January and the first ones are just, I just look rough, <laughs> like now. And then as the weeks go on, you just look so much better and feel so much better. So yeah, it does make a difference what you put into your body, guys. Cool, that is very slick hair, isn't it? I wanted to get it out of my face, it was annoying me. I'm just gonna get some paracetamol on me because I've got a bad headache. Not feeling great, I have to say. Not feeling great at all, in fact. My neck's aching, I've got a headache. <sighs> but I'm not gonna come off plan. I just want people to know that actually all steps on plan are hard in the first week. It's a detox, it's a shock to the system, it's a calorie deficit, you're not used to it, you know. You've just gotta dig deep and get on with it basically. Pull your big girl pants up, <laughs> excuse the pun, and just get on with it. It's I get asked all the time, how do you stick to plan? How do you do it? And I'm like, you just do it. That is literally my saying, I know it's Nike's, slogan but i say it all the time just do it make it a non-negotiable don't give yourself another option don't listen to the voices in your head telling you to eat everything and anything that you have been already because that's what we always do we always give in to temptation and actually you just give yourself 10 minutes that temptation goes and the craving goes i promise you the more you practice it the better you'll get at it and the they say it's like a muscle don't they the more you train the muscle the stronger it gets and it's the same with your discipline just keep training it to do what you want it to do. And before you know it, it'll be normal. So yeah, that's what I'm telling myself today anyway. But yeah, day four, let's go. First meal of the day, vanilla latte as always. I know I should mix it up, but I don't want to. I don't want to. A lot of my clients are the same. Just, you know what you like and you have it each day. And I really like building that routine of just making that every morning. And then actually I've got my results of my NHS health check because I'm old now, apparently, over 40. They offered me a NHS health check blood test to see that all my levels are all right and they're gonna weigh me and stuff. I said to her, great, on the 4th of January, you're gonna weigh me? She was like, yeah, but it's best to get the worst case scenario. Do you know what I mean? I was like, mm, brilliant. So anyway, I thought, I'm not waiting. Do you remember those days at the old slimming clubs where you just didn't eat or drink before you got weighed? I think that is horrendous, but I don't, I would never do that. I don't know what I weigh, no idea, but I'm having this and I'll go and get weighed. I think I'm gonna, I think my appointment's at 10. So I'll keep you updated on how healthy or unhealthy I am. Hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> right, I just got back from my update, you know, my results appointment at the doctor's. She was pretty pleased. She weighed me, she did my height, my BMI is currently 24, which I was quite happy with. Um, 
I want it to be a bit lower, um, as you know, that's why I'm on this journey, but I'm not overweight, I'm not unhealthy, I'm just resetting my habits, which I keep banging on about. You know, I'm not on plan to lose loads of weight or to change too much, it's just for me to get myself back in check, it really helps me, and I do it every January, and I love it. But anyway, she was really pleased, we, we chatted about alcohol consumption, smoking, you know, eating habits, exercise. She said I'm classed as active because I do an average of 10 to 15,000 steps a day. I don't go to the gym, but she was like, no, you're definitely active if you if you walk that far every day. So I was like, oh, okay, that's good. Um, it's made me feel less guilty not going to the gym. And she said, I am at very low risk of getting a heart attack or having a heart attack, no risk of diabetes, which I'm really happy with, normal blood pressure, slight, slightly low actually, but that's always been the case. Yeah, really, really pleased actually. The only thing was my cholesterol, it's supposed to be like 0 point, I can't remember, and it was one point, like zero point something over. And she was like, it's nothing to worry about, but actually if you wanna make a few changes, things like processed food, which I know already, and I am gonna make a conscious effort to make a lot more just home cooked from scratch, which I've all, always used to do, but since becoming a really busy working mum, you know, my business is big. I know a lot of my friends and people that know me probably think I don't actually work, but I bloody do. <laughs> and it is hard, you know, running your own business, it's a lot of work and a lot of hours. And I do neglect things like that a little bit and I go for quick, convenient things. Not necessarily like bad high calorie food, but it's not the best for me. And actually she's just kind of confirmed that really. So I think it's a really good positive meeting for me to make some changes. She's gonna book me in for another follow up blood test in six to 12 months, just so I can see the results of any changes that I've made to make myself hopefully feel better. And then I won't need to um, be checked for another five, five years, I think she said. So yeah, all in all, very positive. Time to make those little changes, I think. Quick lunch break, literally only have 20 minutes, so I'm just heating up the turkey mince that I did on day one. Just gonna heat that up and quickly eat it. It's 500 calories annoyingly, and it's not, weirdly, not actually that filling. So it's not the best choice, but it's quick and easy for me today and it just means that I'll have the boiled egg again later. It's just, I'll just have to do it like that. Wow, okay, with a bit of spinach, and I've done my sriracha mayo and some black sesame seeds. It's actually a bloody good portion, that is. That's huge. I do like to have my big dinner or big meal in the day. It just keeps me going. So I'm so busy in the day with the kids and work. I need it as fuel, and then in the evening I'm quite chilled, so I don't feel like I need as much. So my egg and my bar later on will probably actually be enough. I'm well excited to eat this, quick. I'm just sat here waiting to do Finley's parents' evening online. Kids are upstairs, they've been fed, they've had their dinner. I had two boiled eggs because I needed it. I've gone about 40 calories over today, if I have my product later. That's fine, I'm happy with that. Got soaked on the school run, the storm is horrendous, everywhere's flooded. But yeah, tonight I'm just gonna chill and have my bar with a cup of tea as always. And see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is day five and I'm feeling like myself. Oh, although I feel like I've got a little bit of a cold. Um, not bad, but just like, I don't know if it's just been out in the cold this morning. But I've actually done my, um, my makeup. I'm gonna go and have my hair done later. And I'm gonna go and see Liz to have my skin boosters. Right, before I go, of course, I've got my vanilla latte. Great for on the go, took me two minutes to make. Right, hair done, she curled it all for me, bless her. Now I can get home and actually respond to my slimmers. I've had a real busy bloody morning with like, personal maintenance. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and um, yeah, answer all my clients when I get home, have some lunch, and I will show you what I have. got back from the school run and I'm feeling a bit shaky so I'm gonna have a couple of boiled eggs that I prepared for these moments in time because actually my wrap wasn't as high as I thought it was only like it was less than 300 pretty good I think for a prawn cocktail wrap I only had half the prawn cocktail tub I think that's why so I'm just gonna have a couple of boiled eggs now <sighs> with a bit of sour cream of course <laughs> so I can't bother to set it up properly so it's low Sometimes we just need something quick. So it's good to have things in the fridge ready because when you feel like that, it's very easy to reach for like a sandwich or a toast or something really sugary or but actually a couple of boiled eggs hit the spot.
Just wanted to come on quickly. Um, so that dinner was rushed because I had real bad shakes. Like I didn't feel very well. You know, like, like if your blood sugar levels aren't right, I just didn't feel right. So I was like, I need to eat quick. So I didn't have time to talk. I just wanted to eat to make myself feel better because I knew I had to then drive Bethany to her evening class tonight. She does stagecoach on a Friday. And um, yeah, it was all just a bit much. Turns out day five's actually been harder than day four and three, which has never happened before. But I've been really busy today and actually went a really long time without food. So it was my fault, it was just too busy. It just shows you need to eat little and often. And I didn't have enough water either early on. So that was my fault as well. And I've got a bar left. So I'm gonna have my beloved fruit and nut bar with a cup of tea in a bit before going to get Beth. And then tomorrow is day six. So it's Saturday morning and me and Beth are just sat here having our breakfast, aren't we? What have we got? Biscoff toast. Biscoff toast. Oh, stay strong. Sorry, because it's Saturday, I haven't been on here much, but I had, for lunch, I had the lovely wrap and pop squares, and then I had some, I had two boiled eggs in the afternoon as a snack, and now I'm just making some peri peri chicken with some veg to go on the side, and then I'll have my bar later, but I'll show you what I eat now. And then, um, yeah, it'll be my bar later. And then it's day seven tomorrow. <gasps> Nearly done a week, guys. So as some of you know, I use the Piri Piri chicken sizzlers from Sainsbury's quite a lot. They're just really nice. I mean, they're not that bad. But oranges and greens on the label, so they're not, they're not great. So I am gonna start making my own. But I'm gonna just use one of those sizzlers for this dinner. And then after I've cooked that in the air fryer with all the veg and stuff, I'm going to cook the rest of that chicken ready for the heater wraps because I absolutely love them with the Nando sauce, oh my god, and salad, they are so good. You probably saw them on my vlog last year and I'm missing them, so I'm gonna have them. So yeah, I'll probably have that tomorrow. All right, so I've used the air fryer to cook one of the chicken scissors. I've grilled a tomato, I've done some red pepper and I've also got my green veg here. Quite, it's been really busy today. I've just I've taken Bethany to her party and she's just come back and she's now just getting in the hot tub with Jim. <laughs> I won't film that. <laughs> but I'm just making Finney's dinner and then my final product of the day, which is a fruit and nut bar and a cup of tea, which I have just made. And yeah, I'm gonna go and enjoy this and I shall see you tomorrow. Hello, it is Sunday and I've just fake tanned my face. I tried to do a bit of contour. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But I thought before I put my makeup on and get ready, I'm gonna come for a walk, do a bit of a tan on my face because I'm going live on Instagram tonight with my lovely team member Stacey who lost 10 stone, 10 stone guys, with the help of me and the one-to-one -one diet and just her willingness to change. And that's what we're gonna talk about tonight because she used to be somebody that weighed daily or her feelings were dictated or her worth was dictated by the number that the scales showed back at her. And actually we've learned to completely change her relationship with the scales. And she's gone on to lose 10 stone and changed her whole life. She is amazing. So we're going live tonight. So I thought, you know, do a little bit of prep. Cause you know, it'd be saved and shown to lots of people. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on the treadmill. I'm gonna do a half an hour walk this morning. Then I'm gonna have my shower and I've had my shake. I have my vanilla latte about half nine. It's now half 10. I'll have lunch about one. So yeah, going really strong, day seven. Still going, working up a bit of a sweat now. <sighs> 35 minutes and I'm gonna, I think we're gonna try and do 45. 45 minutes on a Sunday, feels good. Go on then. She's practicing her gymnastics today because it's sunny yeah, for once. I'm going this way. I'm not very good at this way. Okay. No, that was good. It's just, it's just harder, isn't it? Do a forward roll. Beautiful. Look, I'll show you after a cartwheel goal. Right, and here he is. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> so gross. I, I, I do a backwards roll. I do a backwards roll. Okay. Wait, shall I do backwards roll? Yeah, go on, do a backwards roll quick. I'll do a different type. Is there any? Whoa. Oh, wow. Into a plank? That's hard. I thought I was to do that. Actually. 
God, it's actually nice to have the sun shining for a change. <laughs> These mini wraps, 91 calories each from Aldi. Brilliant. All right, so I've just made this amazing one pot chicken, tomato, peppery goodness for my dinner. And I've basically put it on top of a salad. And I've filmed a whole video of the recipe that I will post on my TikTok and Instagram. Wow, that is blimmin' lovely, that is. Who says you can't have cheese on a diet? This is the best natural light in my whole house. So I always come here to record stories. I've had my way in. It is day eight this morning. So I've done a full seven days on step three and I've lost da, 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 eight and a half pounds out of the 10 pounds that I'd gained at Christmas. So I know hopefully that I've proved my point that actually a lot of the weight after these big events or holidays is water weight. It's not real weight and it comes straight back off as soon as you get back to your normal or get back to being, you know, just healthy again. You don't have to restrict. You don't have to starve yourself necessarily. I mean, I've done step three for vlogging purposes. Obviously, I like to show everyone the steps, but I also wanted to do step three like I did last year. I just wanted to do the same thing. But eight and a half pounds out of ten is crazy in a week. And that ten pounds was over two months as well. So... Yeah, hopefully I've proved the point. So whenever you go on like a holiday or if you have an event or have, you know, an overindulgent period in your life, like Christmas, Easter, holidays, birthdays, whatever it is, my top tip is don't weigh straight afterwards, especially when you get back from holiday. You do not need to punish yourself for having fun on holiday. People come home from holiday, they've had the most amazing time, come home, weigh in the morning and feel really bad for what they've eaten and drunk and it's like, but you enjoyed it, you chose to have it on holiday, just accept it and move on. The best thing to do is not weigh, get back to your norm for a week and then the following week you'll probably be less or the same as what you were before you went and it's just a much more pleasant experience you don't have to have any negativity or any mind games you just get back from holiday get back to your normal and then you see that you stay the same and essentially you've maintained your weight which is a much better feeling than thinking oh I've gained this weight on holiday and I've had to diet to get rid of it that's not what you have to do so I hope I hope that's been like one of the points of this vlog because I did a live last night with Stacey on Instagram and that's kind of the point I wanted to get across. Don't fixate on the numbers. Don't fixate on the scales. I didn't even want to weigh after Christmas. And actually, normally I wouldn't. I would have just got back to probably step five, step six calories, you know, my maintenance calories and just got back to normal. And I know that I would have lost most of that anyway. So yeah, I feel really happy. Back to normal within a week of raining things back in so yeah i will see you for week two next monday i hope you enjoyed my vlog please like and subscribe and share with your friends or anyone that you know that's on the one-to-one -one diet or anyone that's got a bad relationship or an unhealthy relationship with the scales you know stuck in the diet cycle i'm always here to chat my inbox on instagram is always open um hopefully speak to some of you soon take care and i'll see you next week thank you for watching